Microsoft is flexing its industry-wide power muscles and trying to kill hard drives as boot devices by 2023. Apparently, they had already tried to pull this move in 2022 with the idea being that, come on, guys, at some point, we are going to have to design windows to assume a solid state drive rather than a hard drive, you know? And, and you think about how messy that transition was. They, they should have just done it automatically with Windows 11, but sorry, keep going. They sh you think about how messy that transition was. I mean, for a long time, it was actually detrimental to the health of your computer to run a defragmentation operation on your boot drive if you had an SSD because it would just completely unnecessarily wear out your NAND flash yeah, cells. absolutely. Right? Like, Windows was hard drive first, hard drive only, really, and then SSDs came along, and the compatibility with SSDs was, in a sense, really kind of bolted on. I mean, uh, when especially in the early days of SATA, when we were using you know AHCI, we were plugging into these like SATA three gigabit per second interfaces. We were not really getting the full capability out of that flash storage, not even not even close, right? And then over time, it's become kind of a pretty good bet that you're going to be running an SSD. But the problem is that many, many computer manufacturers are still out there trying to... It's not even a matter of saving a buck. That's the thing that drives me most crazy, is that you can get an SSD, a basic SSD, for cheaper than a basic hard drive. Yeah. But because... Less total materials. Computer manufacturers are not willing to market their product right? They just want a higher number so that whatever sticker is on the shelf helps shift more boxes without them having to educate the consumer. They've stuck with hard drives so that they can advertise a greater capacity of boot drive. And honestly, you can go back so far and find this behavior. Apple, credit to Apple, Apple moved the industry forward by offering the MacBook Air with only an SSD. Yes, the early MacBook Airs, which had 128 gigs, I believe, was the base capacity of the original MacBook Air. Yeah. They didn't have enough storage on them. Honestly, the MacBook Air was such a boon for external storage devices. Do you remember that? Yes. That was actually huge, but sorry, keep going. And that aspect of it kind of sucked. But I remember as an enthusiast, as an enthusiast and not really a Mac user, all right? <laughs> I remember having one of the most frustrating interactions that I had ever had in my life. I had, this was my uncle's business partner prime. and they, they owned uh, like a, a ski lodge thing together that I got to visit sometimes. Okay. And basically he was going on and on about how amazing the Mac was and how, and, and his proof, his proof that Mac was superior to PC was, he opened it up. He's like, look how fast it is. Look at this. It, it resumes like instantly. And like you open up the, the finder and it just pops up. And I'm sitting here going, that's you, just an SSD. Yeah, you can do that. On just the things. PC manufacturers don't have the stones. They don't have the they don't have the foresight to go and put something good in the machine and then say, hey, this machine is really good. They would rather just install the cheapest possible components and get absolutely smoked in terms of real world usage, in terms of the user experience of sitting in front of this machine. It's and like that used to that used to be an interesting thing too, because like back when I worked at Best Buy, people would come in and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, I want a MacBook," and I'd I'd poke a little bit just to see why, because they they would mention like I'm coming from a, a Windows laptop, I want a MacBook, um, and I, I wouldn't say no because hey. Those MacBooks sold for a lot of dollars. Get that commission, baby. But uh, there's no commission at Best Buy. Um, no. But the uh, I, I would still ask, and they would often be coming from like a bottom bin Windows laptop, and they're like, "Yeah, it's slow and it sucked. So now I want to buy a MacBook for two and a half grand." And I'm like, "Yeah, well, if you met somewhere in the middle, yeah. <laughs> you could solve a lot of those problems." Yeah, you I don't could know. pick up a decent Windows machine for eight hundred, nine hundred. Twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars, really nice machine for for that much Back then, money. Thirteen hundred dollars was like pretty expensive. Then you yeah. could go to the store, buy an SSD, put it inside it, boom, 
amazing. You know, but the but the problem is that they, like I said, the 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 root cause, the root cause of the issue is that PC manufacturers weren't willing to do the work. Totally. They were afraid yeah. that if their machine, apparently I got it wrong, it was actually 64 gigs on the. I remember it being brutally small. And this was a thousand dollar plus machine, to be very clear. But they weren't willing to put the work in. They weren't willing to message it. They were afraid that if they built something fast, something tuned for performance, something that truly was different, that they 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 wouldn't they wouldn't sell as many, and that they would have to actually lift a finger to communicate about the benefits of solid state. And I mean, right now, you guys are probably listening to me talk about this going. Well, Linus, obviously it's a little more complicated than that because everyone knows that a solid state drive is way better than a hard drive. Not back then. But you got to understand, this was over 10 years ago, right? So let's go ahead. What's really cool about the internet is that on sites that just archive everything like YouTube, we can go back in time. Okay. And see what it was like back then. Quick interjection. Back then. Like Back then. All the old WAN shows are corrupt. Back then. I, I actually know that. Um, I've seen a lot of people messaging me about that. Can the audio is still good. That? I have no idea. Okay. I don't know if I care. I don't know if it matters. If, it, I, I, if yeah. I was smart, okay. I would probably delete all the old WAN shows anyway, <laughs> because people have been canceled for less. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the only reason why I do care is they get recommended a lot for some reason. I That I can't explain. It's, yeah, it's a pretty funny thing how many know. people have... Like ancient WAN shows sitting in there recommended. Do you want to watch this random WAN show from like green 2014? and purple with corruption yeah. all over the screen? Yeah, yeah. I don't stop recommending these broken videos. I don't get it. It's you... probably not good for like your channel stats because people are clicking on a video and then going, "Oh, it's broken," and just leaving. I don't know. It's probably just video by video. I, I'm not going to stress too much about it. All right. I do not know what is happening right now, Your but it doesn't matter. Page renode. All right, here we go. Check this out. <clears throat> So, uh, see this? Okay, so this is a response to, remember when we could see like-dislike ratios? This is a response to people disliking this video. It was nothing but a helpful comparison video. Right, because this came five years later when everyone kind of had had clued in. Okay, so here's a comment talking about the future. Uh, Great demo. I switched my tablet to an SSD. But this is exactly it. I was putting in the work to educate about it. I was like, look, yeah, it's a lot smaller. Okay, I get it. But trust me, there's a benefit. Okay, so let's uh, let's find... Uh, okay. But there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of fear around SSDs. Thing is, I have hard drives that have been spinning nonstop for over 10 years and have never failed. SSDs don't seem to last. Okay. That was a big... So back then, there was a huge amount of education around... Yeah. You talked about it, right? Don't defrag your SSD. Yeah. There was a huge wave of education about how to not ruin your SSD. Yeah. And people treated them like they're handling like glass. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, no one cares. <laughs> they uh, just thrash them and they're like, oh, whatever. And, but back then, they're very careful. And people just like, they didn't understand what the benefits were or weren't. Here's someone asking, does an SSD improve actual gameplay or just load times? I, no, it, there, it would have no way of improving gameplay except in edge cases like open world games like World of Warcraft. As you walked over a threshold, man, the difference between having a hard drive and loading in those fresh assets off of an SSD, night and day. I was going to say, asset loading was actually a thing in, in regards to, to gameplay. Night and day. <clears throat> um, here's a big one, Okay. Tarati says, for the price of an SSD, you can get a two terabyte hard drive. I think I'll deal with it being slower for the extra space. And that's fair enough. Remember when that was huge? I remember when I saw my first ever one terabyte hard drive and I was like, whoa. But there were also a lot of comments. There were a lot of comments like this that were far more aggressive, basically saying, you know, it's it's stupid. And I'm having a hard time finding them right now because I guess YouTube does a better job of of surfacing stuff that's not toxic. (laughs) <laughs> These days, they're definitely here somewhere. Um, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm aware what you're of that. saying is, is, is your, your claim is fake news, and everyone is actually very uh, accurate in their, in their comments. Mm, no, I oh, definitely, I definitely darn. remember it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find it. Why don't you go ahead and 
do my do okay one of the big ones was that the way people used to compare the speeds of these devices was in sequential read and write speeds and yeah compared to a hard drive an ssd was only twice as fast in terms of sequential speeds or three times as fast at best bring the random then. in dude but it was all about the responsiveness and as soon as you actually sit down in front of a machine with an SSD, even back then, it was a night and day difference. I'm going to have to see what I can find here. Here's my problem. Okay. I can find replies to people who are being super toxic about it, uh... but I can't find any of the original comments because this is, I believe, pre-YouTube having nested comments. So it's impossible to track back a conversation thread but I can find people replying. You, you can see, like, you can see the evidence. I, yeah, yeah, but it seems like it's basically gone. So I, I don't think I've gaslit myself here. Um, okay, here's here's one, like, uh, a doubter. Can you prove the temps on the two PCs were the same, though? I noticed in the beginning of the video the tower had its side panel on, which would give good airflow. Like, basically saying, oh, this speed difference is impossible. It must be it must be a disadvantage for You're overheating. the hard drive. Um, here's another one. Okay, so here's someone replying to... Uh, compared to the... Okay, it's only 13 more seconds to wait for the hard drive to open MSN Messenger. That's not a long time to wait. Well, yeah, 13 seconds every single time you do anything is actually a long time. And then this one is a reply to... Was that Jake Tyvey? Did he get a beard? <laughs> Peter the Eater says, guess we have to agree to disagree. I cut my loading what? time from 53 to 32 seconds, switching from hard drives and RAID to a micron SSD. I'd say that's a big difference. So this is clearly a reply to someone who's like, it's not a difference. So it's, I, I, can't, yeah. I can't find any of the original comments here, really. But yes, there was some super toxic stuff. Like here's someone replying to a doubter. It's not only boot time, the entire system is faster. That was a big perception. A was huge that, one. SSDs only improved boot time. No, that was actually not the benefit. That was one of the big points of that video was that this is not really the benefit. I mean, the the, the Windows operating system itself is is actually not big when you're when you're booting it up, especially back then, like Windows XP, a Windows Vista. They, they weren't huge. They didn't actually take a long time to boot and Windows or Microsoft, rather, is really good at taking all of the OS files, putting them in one place, so that when you boot up, you are reading it all sequentially. Now, it shouldn't matter anymore. And once Microsoft can design an operating system around that not mattering, maybe they would take a different approach. Maybe they might not write it all sequentially. Not that you can write sequentially to an SSD anyway. The controller will just spread everything out however is most efficient in terms of wear leveling so that it doesn't just kill this one... Uh, uh, kill this like one NAND flash cell and then the rest of them are all yeah. fine, all brand new, right? <coughs> thanks for watching and thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this week's clips. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you comfy and with up to five years of warranty and a 49 day return policy, you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link in the description to get your Secret Lab chair today.